Now, your first alert weather. Hey, good morning. Jeff Roper here in the First Alert Viper Weather Center. We've got another smoky, hazy day around here, and temps aren't going uh, too far out of norm for this time of the year. It's going to be right around 88 degrees. So with tomorrow on the way, <laughs> you'll notice a definitive change with temperatures. In fact, we've got some winds that are going to pick up this afternoon, and you're going to say, wait, oh, wait a minute. Wait, what happened? 60 degrees in Pocatello. If you take a nap right now, you'll wake up tomorrow, if you can sleep that long, with rain, thunder showers, cold temps, and some winds. Less smoke, at least on the surface. You can see in salmon, you can barely even see over the jet port there. So widespread smoke and haze, windy conditions at 20 plus miles an hour, maybe even 30 or more with uh, this front and this cool air, the cloud cover as well is going to settle in and just chill us out. 52 Jackson right now, 54 Salmon, 48 Stanley, 81 in Twin, 75 in Preston. It's 59 along the border there at Soda and Montpelier Burn. We've got breezes out of the northwest. They'll shift to the south, southwest this afternoon, much like they are now in Twin, upwards of 20 plus miles an hour. Lake Wind Advisory has been put in effect for the reservoir in American Falls, at Shelley Firth, the Blackfoot, Long 15, the windy area there between those two communities. And we're watching some clearing. We have pretty, pretty dense uh, coverage there with some of that smoke. And you can see the line from California into Nevada. And then we get into the eastern Idaho areas into tonight with still widespread smoke. You get a bit of a break into the central mountains with that push from the west and the south. Here's our Viper cast. We'll reel in some showers and storms through drive time tomorrow morning about six, seven o'clock along the interstate. Thunder showers uh, prevalent and that swirl continues and we ramp up the winds and cool down the temps. It is going to be rather chilly, especially if you're cold natured. Uh, we've got winds into the mid morning around here, which will knock your socks off and all it's gonna do is suck more of that smoke in and it will eventually clear with the front that gets in here and maybe some moisture will uh, douse it as well, dilute it just a little bit here. We'll get some thunderstorms, things will be gusty around those as well into tomorrow with that shift in temperatures. And uh, there you see our Lake Wind Advisory for the county and counties north and west of Lava, where it'll be 88 today, 93 in Malad, 92 Preston, 82 in Afton, Upper Highlands, 83 into IP, 85 in Driggs, 91 Dubois from 79 to 86 Stanley to Salmon, and around 83 in Butte County, 88 at the site in Blackfoot, and at 91, that'll be the hot spot today for Pocatello. Most of us are going to see just that hazy sunshine, which is beginning to build. Did you see that? There it is. It's like a bruise in the background. It's going to be 88 and then a one in three chance of showers developing and then a 50% chance they'll be hanging out into Wednesday in Idaho Falls, only 71 degrees, 40s overnight. So prepare yourself for some days of inside activity, chillier temperatures, turn the air conditioning off, and we'll clear the smoke out for you before we get back into the 80s by next week. You see the haze in Pocatello ramping up to a 40% chance of storms, windy conditions, cloud coverage, but from 91 to 69 overnight. Rexburg, Yep, you've got the haze and the smoke, 88 today and 69 tomorrow. We're going to call this thing cool, if not chilly. Salmon, 87 and 65 tomorrow. Good, good storm chances there for those communities and into Jackson and Moose. It'll be 82, 49 tonight, 67 tomorrow, and then into the 30s for Thursday and Friday. Tell us your driving pet peeve. Just don't do it while you're on the phone in the car. 534-9957. Love to hear from you and love to see your weather pictures as well. Hit me.